Okay, so in last stream, there was like a really cool highlight part of the stream, which I found like four people with my teammate. Yeah, with one teammate. So like that was so insane. So I just pretty much decided to record it. I mean, I was supposed to. I was gonna just clip it. This button is clipping it, but like if I clip it, I can't really do a voiceover and since I can't do a voiceover I mean it's I mean it's supposed to be a stream without any mic because I was playing with my Korean friend and I thought like have just playing the stream with no mic is better than better than just playing with my mic on with just speaking some random Koreans because you like it would it would actually disturb a little bit more even though because like yeah I just pretty much thought like that, so, yeah. So, that's why I'm just re recording this instead of clipping it. Yeah, the resolution is... Okay, I could actually get it up to... Oh, I could actually get it up to HD. I mean, QHD, okay, this is actually pretty fine then. I literally play with the QHD. I mean, it might not be that accurate because it's supposed to be on the stream console, so, like, yeah. Right, pretty much. So, the AUG, there was a gift. There was, like, a New Year's gift from the talk off thing. Talk off page. Okay, don't let me, okay. On here, so you get an AUG, one drum mag for the AUG ammo case and stuff so it was really good it was so tasty and i'm used this for like five rounds and this gun is pretty cool well that's my teammate he was just looting something and he he said that he had got a scope which we call as a cctv which literally looks so similar with the cctv so we call that cctv like literally it has like the 3x, 1x, 1x dots and the 3x scope. I mean the adjustable 9x scope. So yeah, it's a really good scope. And this pretty much helped me pretty a lot. So like this is a sound glitch. This is not like that guy is not shooting us. So this is kind of a sound glitch that was that happened on our this season because of the shitty audio update and related bugs with it. So yeah. So I, just since I have a scope, I just said that there's some guy over there. I just was peeking over there and pretty much saw some guy over there. Yeah, and I tried to shoot it, but like that was way too far away. And yeah. So, as I remember, my friend got him. My friend got that guy. So, we, my friend got that guy. That guy is just dead on the bush, and we pretty much pushed. And we literally fight about 50 minutes on here. I was just pretty much peeking here, some bits. Uh, literally on the road, so it was, it was pretty dangerous. I shouldn't have done it, but like it was somehow pretty safe, yeah. So I just realized there was a sniper scav, and I was just wandering around, just go over in the right timing, and if there's any enemy, and just, just pretty much got down. Thankfully, I wasn't shot to a sniper scav, and pretty much got down here, because there were some gunshots, and I just, I and my teammate pretty much decided to kill him. That's my teammate. So I spotted the sniper scav over there and two tapped him. Pretty cool. Like a pro, anyways. And just get my ammo loaded and stuff. Man, I think this video will be about like 18 minutes long again. Man, I didn't talk too much. Yeah. I just was peeking around if there's any other guy around because there was some other. I as I knew there was like two gunshots, at least three. So I, th I thought like there could there should be three PMCs, but there was like that was a PMC. I thought that was a scam, but that wasn't. My teammate said that was a scam, and 
Yeah, I, I also pretty much realized that that guy, that SKS guy, pretty much just shot pretty much simultaneously pretty fast. So I realized that he wasn't a scab, and he's my teammate said that he was in a bush. So I just thought that white thing over there in the bush was a PMC, so I pretty much shot it. I'm not sure if I hit it or not over there, but I still killed him. Yeah, there he goes. If I didn't really have a scope, I wouldn't have be able to do that. Yeah, having a scope is pretty important. Maybe I'll pretty much use this scope, maybe later. I was also in this car thingy, and just got down and pretty much just filled my ammo and soon we will encounter another guy maybe after looting or something as I remember but we still encounter something and I just checked around before if there was anything around and as I remember there was a scav but we didn't kill it ah oh, well I one tapped it yeah there's my teammate, and I just checked this guy, and ah, this guy ain't so tasty. And my teammate also said that this guy has a really good armor, the Ana M1. The full class armor, and has a lot of space, so it's really good one. So I just took his thing, and pretty much got down and checked his loot. Uh, also, my teammate said that this guy had an AUG, AUG A3. Yeah, the same gun as mine, and pretty much he took one, because like he was, it's it was his kill. I'm not quite sure why did he give me the armor, the good armor, but still, that's good. So, Scav was approximately over there. Oh no, it was over here, so I tapped. I'm not sure if that was my kill or my teammate kill, but still, it's dead, so it doesn't really matter. And as I remember, I also pretty much checked if there's any dog tags or something. And pretty much checked this guy and just took his dog tags. I mean, oh well, I didn't. My teammate took that dog tag. And I pretty much search for if there's any enemy over there. And check if there's any scav over there. And, well, scavs weren't that much of a problem because I could pretty much one tap them. Like, the, all the magazines were full. It was pretty good. Cool. And oh shit, like I said, oh shit, grenade, and thankfully that was a flash grenade, and I was gonna, pretty much gonna kill him, but he just got behind the wall, so we couldn't search him. So we just decided to ignore him and just go our way, and there was the shot, shotgun guy, the Benelli M4, and my leg was broken here, and I pretty much had to use the painkiller instead of just staying over here and just do uh, whatever with a broken leg because yeah it was pretty dangerous I always died here I lost three of my limb that guy pretty much goes around on the left side and pretty much attacks me I will pretty much lose both of my leg and yeah over there I lose one limb and I almost die over there. I was shaking way too much. And now I decided to just get a freaking Vaseline and my teammate to back me up. If it wasn't him, I would have been dead too. And I got there and pretty much shot the whole freaking mag over there. And pretty much got around and seek for him. I'm not sure why I did not die over there. If I got another shot on the limb, I would have been dead. But I somehow thankfully killed him. I was like so excited over there. I was like, oh my god, how the hell am I alive like that? And I just patched him, patched myself up. And like, man, I missed so much, but I somehow did kill him. So it was like, 
Yeah. It was very risky. I almost died. Okay, so skip all the healings over about over here, I guess. A little more. A little more. Okay. So I pretty much healed up. And then search for that guy's loot. And this guy literally had a Benelli. It's a really good gun. And this guy also had a good headset and a helmet, the Olach. Maybe he got this in a in raid or something. Yeah. And there was some Discord message here and Oh right, my teammate just got disconnected on here, so yeah, it, it took pretty much some while for my teammate to come back because like he had some kind of problem with his computer or something. He just literally just got disconnected so much. Like every w once in every raid, that kind of pretty much. So and he's saying that it's pretty much an SSD problem because he installed. His SSD is pretty much having a problem, and he since he installed Tarkov in an SSD, so he just, yeah. And he pretty much just downloaded it, Tarkov again in the, on his HDD, so the problem got solved, but like, not that sure. After he came back, like, we thought that we won't face another guy. And I pretty much heard a footstep and oh shit, is that it? It's that another guy and Yep, it was another guy. It was another guy. I pretty much stayed here and Maybe I just and just telling that there is someone there is someone to my teammate And I just lost a limb over here And there, I just, yeah. This guy was so weird. This guy was literally so weird. I was just, as I just said in the last stream, and while ending the last stream, I just patched up a little bit. I also had to get a Vaseline over here. Thankfully, my teammates did kill him somehow. My, yeah, my teammate pretty much did kill him at, on that point. It was quite interesting, like, that guy... That guy, as I remember, remember that, that guy pretty much had a really good armor. The... Osprey MK4. It's the 5 class armor. It's a 5 class armor. It's the... the there's two series of the Osprey MK4. Full A. There's the assault version and the protection version. The protection version is the five class, which is basically impenetrable with our current ammo. The the M855 and my teammate was using the Hunter with the BCP FMJ, as I remember, or the, like no, it was TC TCWSP, which had like a 31 penetration, but five class armor just gets penetrated up from about like 45 or something so it's really sturdy and it's almost impossible to kill in the early white days but somehow he died I'm not sure why he died but like my teammate would have got him with a headshot or something I guess I, I don't know but probably yeah his helmet was just yeah that this guy's helmet duration, I mean durability just decreased so I think he got him with a, my teammate got him with a headshot so that was very lucky and I was just asking my teammate if there's any water and yeah after this and I just pretty much checked that my I'm getting out of water and stuff so yeah and man, it was so intense. And there was another scab, so I just got so fucking frightened and it just... Literally, oh my god, why is there... A scab? Thankfully, my teammate killed him. I mean, he didn't really kill him, but he just got that guy away. So, as I remember, I finished him. Yeah. Like, I heard him really just... I heard the scab really struggling, but... So, I thought, like, on the last shot, the scab was dead, but he really wasn't. Interestingly, 
they pretty much drink up and after this I also patch up my leg and stuff. It was like pretty heavy and it was like not literally the best fight to be honest but that intensement but that intensity of this fight was really strong like as i just see this again like the fight ain't that epic but like the intensity itself was the greatest of the fights that i have ever had with my teammate so yeah it was it was fun like it like I think like this these are this this is pretty much the reason why people keep playing Tarkov. People are keep playing Tarkov the intensity and the uh, excitement that after you just go through that intensity while fighting with some few people, like four of them or something. If I did it with a solo if I was doing a solo raid I would have been dead. Oh alright, my teammate killed him. <laughs> Intensity, like, if I were playing with the solo, I would have been dead to the Super 90 guy. Yeah, the Benelli guy. So, I was really lucky. I mean, yeah. So, anyways. So, anyways, we patched up and we just, like, thought, like, there's only, like, 14 minutes left or something. So, we were pretty much screwed up. Because... We couldn't run because like we were having like 50 kilos or something so basically we couldn't run and the time is just going up so yeah we just but thankfully thankfully the old gas station extract was open so we extracted out by that so like this is an occasional this is an occasional extract so it's not always open so it was since it was thankfully opened we just got out pretty safely. If we just had to go, if this was close, and if we just had to go to the non-occasional, non-occasional extraction, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have made it through. It was like, yeah, very lucky, and yeah, generally very lucky. It was really good raid. It was fun. So yeah, that was pretty much basically it, and I just pretty much talked, some talked about ten or few minutes about it. It was really fun. Yeah. So anyways, I, yeah, anyways, that's it, and I'll pretty much come back with, like, whatever, with something, something interesting, like, yeah, maybe something interesting, yeah, I'll see you guys later, bye-bye.